Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh, and today we are going to learn one more question. This question appears quite lengthy. We'll try to read that. However, the answer is quite simple. Let's go through the question. A developer wants to automate an invoice process in the robotic enterprise framework for the finance team. The subject matter expert has a requirement to receive an email with the process report at the end of every transaction. So after processing each invoice, the SME of that process or SME of that team needs an email on every transaction. Okay. In addition, the team requires the recipient of the email be changed every two weeks. Okay. The developer uses a send Outlook mail message activity at the end of the process transaction state. So how will you send an email? Just by adding a send Outlook mail message activity in the process state of RE framework. Right. And then using that activity, we can send emails to the recipients after each transaction is happening, either it's successful or fail or whatever. You know, we can after each transaction, we can build a logic to send out an email. OK, so the question is not about that. The question is at the end of the process transaction state and use the SME email address as the recipient. OK, so the developer is using the SME email address as the recipient. Based on the best practice, where should the email address be stored? Now, the question is just this. OK. If you have to use an email address, right, are you going to directly write that email address or you are going to use an asset and then use that asset and using the asset name, you would like to send out an email. So what is the best practice? So there are four options given to you in an orchestrator credential asset and reference to setting sheet in the config XLX file. Now, are you going to use a credential asset for this? No. Credential asset is required when there is a, there is a username and a password. So here we just have an email address which can be a text asset. This can be a text asset. Okay. So let's read the second option. In an orchestrator, text asset, you are going to use a text asset and referenced in an assets sheet in the config XRX file. Okay, so first of all, it is if you look at most of the options have the config XLX file. So first of all, let's open the config XLX file, open the RE framework, go to the data folder and click on this config file. All right, so the config file is open. Now in the config file, we have got three different tabs, settings tab, constants tab and then assets tab. So if it is an asset, then it has to be in the asset tab, not in the settings tab, nor in the constant tab. So let's go back to our options. Anywhere they have mentioned settings tab, these are the wrong answers. Okay. Even the constant sheet is a wrong answer. So the right answer for this question is in an orchestrator text asset and referenced in the asset sheet in the config. So once you have created a text asset in orchestrator, right? Once you create that, then you go to the config file and mention the name of the asset, right? Um, name of the, what is the name and the asset and the, you can provide a description to that asset. All right. So the correct answer to this question is this one. All right. So if you have any uh, doubt, please do visit. Uh, if you have questions around how to use asset, what is an asset? On all of these topics, I have already created videos. Please do watch those videos from my channel. Thank you guys. Take care. We are going to meet in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.